With the haze and the hot and dry weather, many Singaporeans have been yearning for cool, refreshing rain to wash away some of the soot and heat. So much so that the idea of cloud seeding has been mooted. But what exactly is cloud seeding? Cloud seeding refers to the transformation of clouds into rainfall with the use of appropriate chemical seeding agents. Bring about a change in the microphysics of the clouds so that uh, we can create a desired response, which is basically the rainfall. Dr. Raja said that cloud seeding is used in countries such as the United States, China and Russia, where they try to create rain for agriculture purposes. Just last week, Indonesia said it would use cloud seeding to help ease the forest fires in Sumatra. But before cloud seeding can be carried out, there must be clouds in the air. Cloud seeding is not about creating clouds, but drawing more moisture into the cloud. Once moisture is gathered, the water droplets combine together. When they become too heavy to be suspended in the air, they fall to the ground as rain. But how is it done? One of the most commonly used delivery methods is via aircraft. Existing clouds need to be identified as suitable for cloud seeding. A specially outfitted plane has to fly to the clouds and release the chemicals, usually silver iodide or calcium chloride. The plane has to release the chemicals at different altitudes. The chemicals released into the atmosphere act as a nucleus for moisture to gather. When enough moisture has gathered around the nucleus, it becomes too heavy and falls to the ground as rain. If done right, cloud seeding typically yields an increase of 5-20% to more rainfall. But Dr. Raja pointed out that cloud seeding is not risk-free and that more studies need to be done on its long-term effects. So based on the knowledge that we have theoretically, and what one would be tempted to say is like, you know, cloud seeding may be successful, but you got to be extremely cautious. We are playing with Mother Nature, okay? And uh, so Mother Nature uh, has its own way, it has its own, you know, characteristics. And uh, so, you know, you cannot sort of uh, do geoengineering, okay? When you try to do geoengineering, it has its own impacts. And according to, you know, what is known uh, in textbook, silver iodide is considered to be a hazardous chemical. It's also quite toxic, you know, to animals, to uh, humans and also uh, to the overall you know, ecosystem as such, particularly fish. And uh, so but what we don't know at this point in time would be the short term or long term negative impacts of chemicals like silver iodide on humans and, uh, on, uh, and on fish and also on livestock. Because we are talking about biomagnification. Okay? So if a small micro, some small organisms you know, ingest this chemical, then it can lead to you know bigger effect across the food chain. While some have mooted the idea of cloud seeding to get some rain, the National Environment Agency said in a statement to raise the TV that they have never attempted cloud seeding and that there are currently no plans to do so. They said the small size of Singapore and the variability of winds also mean that the induced rain, if any, may not fall directly over our island. In any case, the rain will provide only temporary relief as the smoke haze would continue to be blown towards Singapore by prevailing winds, should the fire in the region continue to persist. For these reasons, we have no plans to conduct cloud seeding, but we will keep the option open.